Life, they say, is like a winding road. You move in straight lines and navigate tough corners to the regions and the shadows. struggle with truth and doubt. Life was never made to be easy. But with faith, hard work, and a heart unafraid, you will reach the mountain top. Find the light that you can carry inside you. Through rough patches. You journey towards your goal. But knowing why you do it, for whom you do it, makes all the difference. But at the end of your trail, you live for the joy in the smiles of those whose lives you have touched. Not for any fame or glory, but because you chose to follow the Lord's path. To shine God's love into the darkest corners. And lead on to the light. I am called, I am a Divine Word Missionary. Hi, you're invited for a live streaming concert for the mission, for the retirement fund of our SVD brothers and priests. So we have a date for Saturdays of September. The live streaming will be via FB Page Catholic Media Channel. So see you. And let's all help our retired Filipino missionaries and brothers and priests. God bless you and Mama Mary loves you.
please kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you created man and became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live in love here, so that we may live in love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in words or song alone. In prayer, we come to face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so as we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass as shown on the screen.
a blessed day to all you brothers and sisters and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Sison Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Thursday, the 20th week of Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Rever Reverend Father Louis Punsalan SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our gospel reading for today is composed of two parable stories. The parable of the wedding feast, and the parable of the wedding banquet, and the wedding garment. These two parables invite us to reflect about the importance of repentance, preparedness, accepting the invitation of Christ to come to the wedding feast. Because in the same gospel, the Lord says, I have prepared my banquet, everything is ready, come to the feast, the king said to his servants. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to, to the, the Lord, Lord our, our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you, good things which no eye can see, Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. The Spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah. He passed through Gilead and Manasseh, and through Mizpah, Gilead as well, and from there he went on to the Ammonites. Jephthah made a vow to the Lord, If you deliver the Ammonites into my power, he said, Whoever comes out of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in triumph from the Ammonites, shall belong to the Lord. I shall offer him up as a burnt offering. Jephthah 
then went on to the Ammonites to fight against them. And the Lord delivered them into his power, so that he inflicted a severe defeat on them. From Arwar to the approach of Meneth, and as far as Abel Keramim. Thus were the Ammonites brought into subjection with the children of Israel. When Jephthah returned to his house in Mizpah, it was his daughter who came forth, playing the tambourines and dancing. She was an only child, had neither son nor daughter besides her. When he saw her, he rent his garments and said, Alas, daughter, you have struck me down and brought calamity upon me. For I have made a vow to the Lord, and I cannot retract. She replied, Father, you have made a vow to the Lord. Do with me as you have vowed. Because of the Lord has wrought vengeance for you on your enemies, the Ammonites. Then she said to her father, Let me have this favor. Spare me for two months that I may go off down the mountains to mourn my virginity with my companions. Go, he replied, and sent her away for two months. So she departed with her companions and mourned her virginity on the mountains. At the end of two months, she returned to her father, who did to her as he had vowed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Blessed the man who makes the Lord his trust, who turns not adultery, or to those who stray after falsehood. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your, <coughs> to do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Please rise as we honor the Holy Gospel. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but the guests refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed. Everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of the servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, 
and burn their city? Then the king said to the servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out therefore into the main roads, invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike. And the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. And he said to him, My friend, why ca how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? The man was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet, cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel reading for today is composed of two parable stories. The first parable is the parable of the wedding feast. The second parable is the parable of the wedding garment. These two parables have nothing to do with weddings. They are not wedding stories. They have nothing to do with wedding receptions or wedding coordinators. They have nothing to do with getting married. In short, the gospel is not a wedding story. They are symbolic stories. They are allegories. And in high school, we learned that allegories are figures of speech. They are allegories and they only make sense when we see what they symbolize or represent. Sometimes the gospel is called the parable of the rejected banquet invitation. Sometimes it is called the parable of the disobedient guests of the wedding banquet. These two parables are narrated only in the Gospel of Matthew. You will not find them in the three other Gospels. Let me say a few words about each of the two parables. In the first parable, the parable of the wedding banquet, the king invites guests to the wedding banquet of his son. The king is the figure of God. The great wedding banquet is a popular Jewish image for the joy of the life to come, about messianic goods, about salvation in Christ, about eternal life, about heaven. The first parable compares the kingdom of God to a wedding feast. Come to the feast, everything is ready. But for different reasons, the guests rejected or ignored or declined or snubbed or refused the invitation because according to them, there are more important things to do in life. Those who were invited to the wedding banquet ignored the invitation and went away one to his farm another to his business one was too busy to come he went to his farm the other was too busy working for a living he went to his business it is a familiar excuse what is one important lesson here alibis, excuses, 
I have no time. I am busy. My dear brothers and sisters, anyone will always say he has no time for something he is not interested in. We have a way of saying it in Filipino. Kung gusto, may paraan. Kung ayaw, maraming dahilan. Let me go to the second parable. The parable of the wedding garment. The parable of the wedding garment is not about the wedding gown. It has nothing to do with the clothes that we wear when we are attending a wedding. The parable has nothing to do with clothes in which we go to church. Although in many churches, there is a prescribed dress code. It has everything to do with the spirit in which we go to the house of God. The parable of the wedding garment is profoundly true that church going must never be a fashion show. But there are garments of the mind. There are garments of the heart. There are garments of the soul. The garment of expectation. The garment of humble penitence. The garment of faith. The garment of joy. The garment of reverence. These are the garments without which we ought not to approach God. My dear friends, quite often, we go to the house of God with no preparation at all. But if every man and every woman came to church prepared to worship and to pray, after a little prayer, a little thought, a little self-examination, then worship would be worship indeed. This is the worship in which and through which things happen in people's souls and in the life of the church and in the affairs of the world. Amen. Let us all stand. God invites us to the banquet of eternal life in heaven. Let us ask our loving Father for all our needs. The response will be, teach us to be open to your love, Lord. Teach us to be open to your love, Lord. That the church on earth may continue to flourish and remain to the feast of God's kingdom. We pray. Teach us to be open to your love, Lord. That the rich and the poor alike may not make excuses to evade the call of the kingdom. We pray. Teach us to be open to your love, Lord. That by having pure and contrite hearts, we may be found worthy to come to the banquet of God as prepared for us. We pray. Teach us to be open to your love, Lord. That we may bring God's compassion and kindness to the sick and the disabled. We pray. Teach us to be open to your love, Lord. That the dead may live in the house of the Lord and rejoice in the banquet of eternal life. We pray. Teach us to be open to your love, Lord. Heavenly Father, you invite us to be with you in your kingdom. As we pray for others, help us to bring them with us to that banquet sent forth by your Son, Jesus Christ, forever and ever. Amen.
Let us pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may marry to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through the sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our effort to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. 
We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be resolved to help. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calongsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renademans. Pray for us. Be seated for a few minutes, my dear friends. Good morning everybody, good evening to those who are in other countries. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, magandang gabi, maayong buntag, maayong gabi, kaninyong tanang. Father Louis Punsalan po, SVD, dito sa Christ the King Mission Seminary, you hear my voice at the end of the Mass every time I am the presider here at Christ the King. Uh, the, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank personally and as a community, as a member of our community of SVDs here in Christ the King, we would like to thank the uh, benefactors, the donors, the friends, the sponsors for sharing in our mission of forming and educating future SVD priests and missionaries. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong ipinadadalang tulong, patuloy na ipinadadalang tulong at ipadadala pang tulong sa amin. At hindi ko tatapusin ang aking panawagan. I will continue to call. I will continue to appeal. I will continue to ask for help on behalf of seminarians who are financially handicapped and who would need our financial support, especially in relation to their studies in the seminary. Lumalapit po kami sa inyo, mga SVD dito sa Christ the King upang humingi ng inyong tulong sa pag-aaral ng mga kabataang nagpapari at magiging misyonero balang araw. Ipinapakita po namin sa inyong harapan ang aming bank details, Banco de Oro, account name Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. Account name Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. Account number 000 2201921247 We have only one bank account we have no bank account with RCBC with BPI or any other bank our only bank account for the seminarians is with Banco de Oro with the corresponding account name and account number Similarly, we have two GCash numbers, but they easily get full because we have a very small maximum wallet limit. But in case you cannot send through our GCash anymore because they are already full, still I'd like to give you our GCash numbers. Our GCash numbers are 0967. They are in front of you being flashed. 0967. 3189830 0967 3189830 and 0945743 0945743 One is under the name of Father Tagura. He is our rector here in the seminary. And one is under my name, yours truly, Father Punsalan. And in front of you is also our uh, email address in case you want to communicate with us in case you want to ask some questions and so on our email address is very easy to memorize ckms donorcare at gmail.com ckms donorcare at gmail.com 
Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. We continue to pray for you. We continue to ask God to keep all of us safe and healthy, especially during these difficult times. God bless all of you. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. You're invited for a live streaming concert for the mission, for the retirement fund of our SVD brothers and priests. So we have a date for Saturdays of September. The live streaming will be via FB Page Catholic Media Channel. So see you. And it's all help our retired Filipino missionaries and brothers and priests. God bless you. And Mama Mary loves you.